Traveler, I believe I've made a small discovery. Could I ask you to use the Nernama detector once more? <laughs> what? Stanley has an imaginary friend? It seems his imaginary friend is a seasoned warrior, covered in scars from head to foot, and a look of staunch determination on his face. I knew there was something weird about his story. It was awesome and well told. Oh, you thought so too, huh? I agree. He wasn't telling the whole story. Please excuse me. Uh, I'll be leaving now. Bye, Stanley. Do you two still have time to spare? What is it? A few days ago, Stanley got drunk and told me a secret. Something he's never told anyone before. The weapons he took on his adventure all those years ago. They were none other than those once wielded by Mondstadt's greatest hero, Vanessa herself. The Sword of Brilliant Valor and the Shield of Magnificent Honor. I don't know whether you believe me, but apparently, both the sword and shield are still right here in Mondstadt, over in Dadaupa Gorge. Since you guys are the experts at this, can you come with me to try and retrieve these two legendary weapons? Why did he abandon them in the wild, then? I don't know. Outstanding individuals always come with their quirks, right? If I can just get a hold of something impressive enough to show my family what I'm capable of, maybe they'll finally come around to the idea of me being an adventurer. Right now, I'm just a rookie. My abilities are limited, and my parents don't support my goals one bit. So, what do you say? Help a guy out? I can't bring myself to tell Stanley about it, because my reasons are so... Uh, selfish. But, I swear I'll give the weapons back to him as soon as I'm done. Aww, poor Jack. Let's help him out! Hard to say no after that sub story. Venti, you coming too? Hmm, I don't know. Oh, one other thing. I have a bottle of rare vintage wine that I had someone fetch for me a couple years ago. Help me find these weapons, and it's all yours. Uh, uh, Dada Gorge, was it? <laughs> Let's hurry, there's no time to lose. Really? Hmm. I do enjoy the Stanley aspect. There's a bit of fun. Search for the Sword of Brilliant Valor. Okay. Hey, that bunch of hilly churls! Are they holding some kind of ceremony? And what's with that pile of knickknacks? Are they worshipping them? Seems so. That must be the Sword of Brilliant Valor, surely! Mm, just missed that. There we go. Oh, I didn't realize you were still alive. tossed an old sword into a pile of spoils these hilly trolls were already celebrating. This is in terrible shape, and it's so basic, I... <sighs> I'm at a loss for words. Hmm... Say, Jack, have you ever seen an Animo crystal fly? They're found in the open country around Mondstadt City. If you saw one in broad daylight, you wouldn't bat an eyelid. But in the pitch blackness of night, its brilliant glow is mesmerizing. It truly resembles an exquisite crystal dancing in the night air. Is Valor not the same? When everything is going your way, it seems meaningless. Fades into the background. But when you're in dire straits, Valor is the thing that gets you fired up and fighting back. 
It's the brilliant ray of light that guides you out from the darkness. That was some very elaborate ox dung. You're right. You're right. Then this has to be it. This is the Sword of Brilliant Valor. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, we got our sword. Now we just need that shield. Let's scout around. It's definitely in Dadaupa Gorge, so... Uh, huh? There's somebody there! Stanley? What's he doing here? He's acting so weird. What happened? Why did you stop all of a sudden? Huh? Oh, uh, it's nothing. Just one of those Mora spouting weasel thieves passed by is all. What? Where? I, I want to see. <laughs> Maybe another time. <laughs> we have a shield to find, remember? Lo and behold, the Shield of Magnificent Honor. It's just, uh... Wooden shield, Venti. Liar, liar, pants on fire. It's a chunk of wood. A chunk of scrap wood with the handle attached. Who in their right mind would use this as a shield? There's also wine stains on it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was just taken from a wine barrel. And yet, my bard's intuition tells me that this is none other than the shield of magnificent honor. Warriors wear their battle scars with pride, and shields are no different. Surely an intact shield is one that has shied away from the battlefield. Is not the broken and splintered shield the one that has fought in countless wars and lived to tell the tale? Though the soldier's body be tired and torn, still they fight till the very end, till they have no blood left to bleed. Such magnificent strength of will. Is that not the true meaning of honor? Venti's in top form today. You do have a point. Shiny new shields don't stay new and shiny for long. Okay, then. Well, maybe if we ask nicely, he'll just let us take the Shield of Magnificent Honor for free. Ahem. Excuse me, Mr. Hilly Churro? Lala. Well, okay. You take it from here. Hope you've picked up some hilly trillium by now. If not, there's always body language. Vin Plata Dada. Mosimita. Seems cheerful enough. Maybe negotiating will work after all. Kucha Pupu Gushaye. Uh oh. He did not seem to appreciate that. Mani Nini Beardomu. Uh oh, he did not seem to appreciate that. Oh no, we ticked him off big time. Well, yeah, you should have heard what he said. Nice Just not on, to be honest. Teamwork is dreamwork. Power that ended hot shot. Hello? Is he not going to fight us at all? All right, then. Hey! He dropped the Shield of Magnificent Honor and ran! Well, at least we got the shield. Guys, thank you so much! I can't believe I actually found them! Mom! Dad! Check out the legendary weapons I found! Hey, wait! The wine! You promised! Oh, and I actually helped a lot this time. Hmm? What are you doing here, Stanley? Out for a stroll? Uh, <laughs> uh hey, hey, <laughs> what are you doing here, Bard? Fancy that, huh? You, um, uh, out for a stroll, too? Oh, that's right. An after-dinner stroll, to be precise. We were also helping a friend look for something. Paimon's starting to think Stanley might be a fraud. I'm seriously starting to think so, too. Did Stanley plant the sword and shield here in advance so as to not hurt Jack's feelings? Adventurers must be pretty familiar with Dadaupa Gorge. You fought battles here before, after all. <laughs> you better believe it. I can navigate this whole area with my eyes closed. 
Wow! Then I admire your perseverance. And your memory, too. It's only to be expected of a great adventurer like me. You guys had better watch out, though. This place is crawling with hillichurls. I, uh, I'll get back to my, um, uh, stroll now. Goodbye. Guilty conscience, much? Well, he shouldn't have gotten so carried away bragging to Jack, should he? Although, on further reflection, I must say I'm intrigued. Someone who can't let go of the past and gives up on the present instead. I wonder, if such a person was forced to take their first step towards the future, which way would they go? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just musing to myself. Anyway, I propose we take a trip to Angel's Share tonight. You're buying. Let's get these while we're here. Wait for nightfall. Suspicious eyes. Tell me, Stan. Tell me what should I do? Huh? Why does he keep repeating his own name? He's hiding something. Could there be another person called Stanley? Oh, Stanley. It should have been me. I should have been the one to die in the Meljubari that day. Why won't your spirit come and stop me from using your name? Why, Why? If only you hadn't had to save a rookie like me, you would have never died in that windless corner of the world. You were a renowned adventurer, destined to become a legend one day. But now, that'll never happen because your life was cut short and all because of a worthless tag -along. Uh, does anyone get what's going on here? I think our friend really did make it to the Mare Javari. And I think the tragedy he encountered there was real too. But the real adventurer, the real Stanley, that was his partner, not him. The real Stanley is the one who died to save our Stanley. Wait, so the only reason our Stanley is called Stanley in the first place is because he stole the other Stanley's name? I fear that may be the case. Stanley, for so many years I've lived in fear. Fear that Mondstadt will forget all about you. So I tell you adventure stories at every opportunity. Mondstadt must remember. Stanley reached the center of the Madravari. He's the greatest adventurer there ever was, and he lives on. Stanley will never die, because I am Stanley. I am Stanley. I'm sorry, Stanley. I'm getting too old. Now, are you guys planning on eavesdropping much longer? Yikes! We're busted! Yeah, let's have a word with Stanley. Stanley, too? Go away. Save your questions. And just leave me in peace. But... Leave now. Don't make me tell you again. Honorary Knight, Venti, and Paimon. I'm so glad you guys are here. I've been looking for you everywhere. I wanted to thank you again for helping me find the sword and shield. My parents are finally supporting me. Oh, really? Yeah, really. They even said they're going to pay for someone to fix up the Sword of Brilliant Valor and Shield of Magnificent Honor for me, so I can take them out on the road. That's wonderful! So, Jack, is this the part where you bid farewell to Mondstadt and set off on your intrepid trip traversing to that? No, not yet. I still don't have what it takes to go too far from home just yet. Besides, I'm sure Stanley still has a few stories left to tell. <laughs> they're what inspired me to become an adventurer in the first place. Stanley, I... Oh, you're drunk again. We'll see you tomorrow, then. After your hangover wears off, maybe you can tell me some more of your stories? 
Stanley's really fond of that kid, don't you think? Uh, yeah. Jack. Jack left. Oh, I see. Well, thank you for not telling him about my secret. Huh? All of a sudden you're facing the facts? That isn't like you. Just now, I couldn't bear to look at him. His adventurous spirit is so pure, unblemished. Just a weary old feckless fraud. But that kid is a brand new shining star, full of potential. I cannot allow his dreams to be crushed. Mm, you're not a total fraud. Stanley's adventure stories and experiences, they're all true, aren't they? Stories? Experiences? What's the point of them anymore? To be honest, my memories of adventuring and of Stanley, they're hazy these days. That's my biggest secret of all. And my biggest fear. All these years, I've been living to tell his story. But his personality and the details of his life, I don't remember them clearly anymore. <laughs> but the one thing I can never forget is that he died in a windless land where his spirit can never be recovered. His whole life he's been drowning in guilt. Exactly. Even in his memory, the real Stanley isn't the living, breathing friend he knew at all. Instead, he's become fixed on the image of him as that battle-scarred warrior. And that image has held him captive his entire life. I'm too old. I never let go. But still, so much has slipped away. I'm completely and utterly worthless. No adventurer should have to go that way. No adventurer ever. Hans Archibald. My true name? How did you know? <laughs> the wind. I can hear the wind blowing in the Mare Javari. I always believed you existed. Will you hand me your old friend's spirit? I can't believe it. Thank you all. And thank you, Lord Barbados. I'm sorry. It's gonna take me some time to calm back down. But I think that I'm gonna be okay. Ah, wonderful. Stanley reconnected with his true self and Jack can finally go his own way. This calls for a celebration. And by celebration, I do, of course, mean libation. And by libation, you mean you're not leaving this tavern till you're too drunk to walk, right? <laughs> no, the wine here's too expensive. Jack still owes me some wine, though. He promised me a rare vintage in exchange for helping him out, remember? I'll head off to fetch the wine. See you shortly. Let's meet at the usual place. Huh? Where's that supposed to be? Why has Paimon never heard of it? Hey, Tone Death Bard! Okay, see you there. Oh, hey! This is the usual place? You made it. Finally. Just tell us where you mean next time, okay? We looked everywhere. <sighs> so... Did you at least manage to find your wine? Yep. Well, sort of. Jack made it out to be a rare collector's edition vintage. When actually it's just a half bottle of regular cider. Ah, <sighs> this takes me back. The first time I saw this view, I hadn't even taken on this form yet. What? It was about 2600 years ago, before the world had come under the rule of the Seven. At that time, Old Mondstadt was ruled by a tyrant, 
who sealed off the city's perimeter with a ferocious hurricane. Even the birds couldn't get in or out. Old Mondstadt? Oh, Paima remembers! Nowadays it's known as Storm Terror's Lair, right? You mentioned it before! That's right. The Tyrant of the Winds who once ruled from that tower was Decarabian, God of Storms. Back then, I was but a wisp among the Thousand Winds. I wasn't a god of anything. I didn't even have a human form. I was just a tiny elemental being who lived in the wind. A gentle breeze bringing subtle changes for the better. Or tiny seeds of hope. A tiny elemental being? Without a human form? Venti, do you mean you used to look different than you do now? Yep. My current form is not so different from the situation with fake Stanley. <laughs> I took the form of a friend. An old Mondstadt transpired the story to be told. Where a tyrant ruled, I met a boy not that old. The lyre he played, and for a song he sought. But storm walls blocked blue sky, he was sincerely distraught. I do so wish to see the birds in flight, said he, his strong eyes filling with light. But his voice was lost in the howling wind's churn, for the whirlwind takes and gives not in return. The true sky and songs that cageless soar, were they not wishes worth fighting for? So the boy turned, extending his hand, let us cast down the tyrant and his walls from this land. The young boy raised in the flag of revolt, and I threw myself into freedom's tumult. Victorious were we who fought to be free. Gods fell, winds whipped, nations shook violently. In the smoke, a despot met his doom. And we watched as his great tower fell none too soon. Mondstadt began anew, the story passed down. And since then never has another worn its crown. So then what? What happened to your friend? Same situation as with Stanley's friend. Say, Paimon, do you wish to hear the next part of the story? Yes, of course! The suspense is killing Paimon! Paimon, go pick us a couple of apples. Now's the time you suddenly get a craving for apples? Really? <laughs> Getting a little peckish or something. Oh, so peckish. Huh. Paimon's headed up to here with you! Huh. <sighs> You know, you're so smart it almost makes me uncomfortable sometimes. But then, maybe it's right that true friends can tell what the other is thinking. A refreshing drink, a gentle breeze... <sighs> Moments like this always take me back. Back to a song that I first heard from him. I'm listening. Fly, fly away. Like a bird in the sky. See the world on my behalf. To the heavens may you fly. And there we go. Benti's Act 1 complete. <laughs> oh! Some more Primo gems. Now I'm wondering whether or not I can use some of this stuff to actually... Like with some of the new characters, maybe I can get some more wishing done. But over here... Not there. I meant that. I only need two more, and I got some more characters, didn't I? So I could easily get two more to get some more ten wishes in with the Wanderlust Invocation. So give me a second. Okay, there we go. So let's get another ten wish here with the Wanderlust Invocation. What do we got? Probably be a purple. Yeah. Hopefully it's a god purple. Not bad, not bad. Again, Constellation and stuff. She's part of my group. Yay, we got Amber. It's like, yeah, not bad, not bad. That's cool. 
So what can we get in the shop now? Is there anything else we can get here now? Like I can get another one of them, so we will actually purchase that. That's for everything else, we just need to actually wait once again. I really maybe should save up and try and get that, but nah. Basically gotta wait a month now. Well, 14 days until I get some more intertwined fates. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the pools we got there. That's very good in terms of what we've got going on. Constellation here, let's have a look. Sea Beast Scourge. When Stormbreaker is used, creates a shield that absorbs up to 60% of Bidu's max HP for 15 seconds. The shield absorbs electro damage 250% more effectively. Not bad, to be honest, not bad. That's pretty cool. So yeah, my, my team's just getting stronger and stronger, and I'm ve very happy with that. Like, it's a good, it's a good setup I've got here. Like, I really do like this group, but like, still need to get some stuff started here and there, like, like some weapon upgrades and some more of the talents and stuff like that. But the constellations are coming along quite nicely now, especially with Sucrose. Especially with Sucrose. So, that's where we're going to end this part. And in the next part, we will go off and do Invitation of Windbloom, but that we are a few days away from my point of view. And it depends where you're watching the videos at this point, in terms of the Let's Play. Because if you're watching along right now as this is going out, they will revert back to previous parts for a while, as we still try and catch up to where I actually am in the Let's Play, with me actually playing the game. But if you're just watching along at a later date, it is very much like, yeah, the next parts will be just Invitation of Windbloom. It's all crazy right now because of the 1.4 coming out quicker than I expected. I didn't know this was happening when I started up the Let's Play, so yeah. So we'll, we'll see you in whatever happens next. Ta-ta for now.